Father, we want to thank you again on this beautiful day. Holy Spirit, have your way in us. We will live for you. Thank you, Lord, for helping us in this perilous time. Holy Spirit, we give you praise. We worship you. We adore you. You are mighty, Lord, none like you. Adonai, we worship you on this new day. Glory, 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 glory to your name. Father, fill us with your spirit today. Holy Spirit, have your way. Illumine us, intercede for us. Provide spiritual character in us, redeem us, instruct us, convict us of sin. In the mighty name of Yeshua Mashiach, help us, O God, to walk according to your will. Indwell us, intercede for us, provide spiritual character in us, provide spiritual character in us, intercede for us. Fill us today, empower us. In the mighty name of Yeshua, you are a channel of divine revelation. Holy Spirit, have your way. You are a baptismal medium. You are the one who calls us to ministry. Let your fire begin to burn in us. Sanctify us today. We are our source of fellowship, our source of liberty, our source of power, our source of unity, our source of spiritual gift, our teacher, and seal us to the day of redemption. Abind every satanic work and render them useless. Any satanic work that will try to tarnish the glory of God in our lives, we decree and declare today, canceled. Anyone sitting on a throne trying to derail us, oh God, derail them. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach, take them from their throne and let them know you are God. We praise you today. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Good morning, saints of God. In case you're listening to this or you're going to come across this video, may God bless you. God continue to strengthen you. I saw a no word on my video, on my page. I don't know what that means. Maybe Facebook put me, put null on it, whatever it is. The Word of God continues. We need to be filled with the Spirit of Christ. In 1 John 4, 4, it says, You are dear children, you are from God, and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. Don't forget that. In case you, you feel despondent, greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. John tells us what we have overcome, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have overcome the spirit. Why? Because the spirit that is in us is greater than whatever false spirit is in the world that can conjure up, the world can conjure them, but they are powerless. It says, I originally didn't intend to write on this, but the beginning of the post I mentioned in the verse from Matthew twelve forty-three to 45 is a word that I took from uh, a writing. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes out, I read places, seeking rest and does not find it. That is verse 43. Verse 44, then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. Verse 45, Matthew chapter 12. Then it goes and takes with his seven other spirits, more wicked than itself. And they go in and leave there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. That is how it will be with this wicked generation. Matthew twelve forty three to 45. Jesus, Yeshua, tells us of a parable where an impure spirit resides in a man. The spirit lives for a while and ends up coming back. It leaves readers thinking, well, how do we stop the spirit from coming back? There is a very crucial detail in the parable that tells us that during the return, the spirit finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. And I think that is the key to understanding the passage. The only way someone is able to guarantee themselves free of an evil spirit is to replace that with vacant spot, that vacant spot with a much more powerful one. So we need the powerful one, the Holy Spirit, to guide us, to, re, to dwell in us and, and illumine us every day. And John gives us the same conclusion. Because of the much more powerful Holy Spirit that resides in us, the evil spirit of the world 
have absolutely no hold on us. What a comforting promise. Father, I thank you this morning for that fire, the Holy Ghost fire to begin to burn in us in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. Because the Holy Spirit is the source of our our liberty, our source of power, our source of unity, our source of spiritual gift. He is our teacher. He is the one who sanctifies us, illumines us. Holy Spirit, let your fire burn in us today and forevermore. Let us be on fire for you and never for the world. Greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world, according to 1 John 4, 4. And we thank you for giving us grace today and forevermore in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Blessings to everyone today. Put on the whole armor of God and begin to withstand the wiles of the devil. The devil cannot stand you if you have the Holy Spirit in you. He cannot touch you because greater is he who is in you than he does in the world. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.